going on, boxing fans? It's your boy, Pooh Counter Boxing. Come back at you with another boxing video for the boxing heads and the boxing minds. Please smash that like button for more hardcore boxing content. You know what I'm saying? And subscribe. Now, we give fighters the benefit of the doubt, you know. But in Terrence Crawford's case, he's got to be the weakest boxing champion that I've ever seen. You know what I'm saying? That I ever laid eyes on. Man, what a pussy. Right? He ignored the calls of all the boxing fans, you know, for him to step up into boxing's greatness. But guess what? There is no greatness in Terrence Crawford. Right? He is a mediocre fighter. Right? We just got to come to terms with that. You know what I'm saying? His he has a piss poor legacy. He saw the threat of Errol Spence Jr. and he decided to play it safe. And that's not what champions do. That's what we call sorry as hell. Like a dog walking around with his tail between his legs, you know what I'm saying? He's just lying to the public that Errol Spence Jr. is ducking him. Pure scumbag behavior. Straight coward, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I just hate to say it, you know what I'm saying? But he ducked everybody. You know what I'm saying? Can't we see it? You know what I'm saying? He has not fought one top welterweight. You know what I'm saying? Except for maybe Tom, uh, Sean Porter when he was on his way out. And Kell Brook, who was all, you know, careers behind them. He never fought anybody in their prime. You know what I'm saying? None of, none of the top welterweights. He ducked Keith Thurman. He ducked Danny Garcia. What more do we need to see from Terrence Crawford? He is a B-level welterweight. And that's why he keeps his competition be level because now he's gonna fight Alex Rocha right who we all know got for Loom Loom by by uh, Rashid Elias right so and Rashid Elias just got beat by some no-name uh, villa who is you know new on the scene to everybody so if um, if Alex Rocha gets for Loom Loom by uh, Rash <coughs> excuse me Rashid Ellis what do you think Terrence Crawford is gonna do to him you know what I'm saying? He's just going to pad that re that record, you know what I'm saying, to keep his knockout streak going, you know, which is fake because he's he's fighting lesser competition, right? We all know that the higher you go up in competition, the harder it is to knock people out. So he's trying to slip that fade to stay undefeated. You know what I'm saying? Only women and children got time to play with Crawford games, you know what I'm saying? You know, it's like boxing, you know, men admire courage right and we hate weakness you know in fighters you know saying we don't like to see fighters act cowardly right dudes like Earl Spence Jr you know what I'm saying and uh, Devin Haney you know what I'm saying and, and Deontay Wilder and Jamel and Jamel and Jamel Charlo you know what I'm saying they got the they got the courage to put it all on the line you know what I'm saying and they straight up they don't come sideways like Crawford trying to slink out you know what I'm saying? The situation like a snake in the night. You know what I'm saying? And 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 try to incur, you know what I'm saying, all kind of different public opinions to make himself look good. And, you know, fighting Alex Roach is not a challenge for Terrence Crawford. He might as well just go ahead and retire, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it is what it is, man. You know, he's not gonna he's not gonna, you know, fight Earl Smith Jr. He's gonna fight Blair Cobbs probably. After he does uh, Alex Rocha, and you know what I'm saying, he don't care what nobody say because you could pay him fifty million dollars. He's not gonna get in there and get his ass whipped by Errol Spence Jr. That's just not gonna happen, right? You know, just soft, 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 bro. And you know what I'm saying, the bud protectors are gonna justify it, right? But they're not real boxer fans anyway. They just Errol Spence Jr. haters, you know what I'm saying? But it's time for real boxing fans to stand up to call out these contradictions and hypocrisies in the sport of boxing, right? You know what I'm saying? We're tired of seeing these fake champions get by, you know what I'm saying, by fighting weak, weak competition, C-level fighters, and then call themselves great. We're not standing up for that crap no more, you know what I'm saying? Nobody's paying for it. No, He went from David Avenesian to Alex Rocha. Is that what, is that pound for pound? I don't think so, you know what I'm saying? If you ask me, if you ask me, his real skill is ducking and strategically ducking. That is his skill. You know what I'm saying? Trying to 
clout chase off the name of other fighters. You know what I'm saying? Better fighters than he ever was, right? And, you know, to have this cavalier uh, attitude once he get exposed, it's ridiculous to me. You know what I'm saying? While everybody else is out there, you know, banging in the trenches, you know what I'm saying? He, he stands out. He sits out in Omaha and relaxes, you know what I'm saying? So, but we, we I think everybody has caught on. I think the jig is up. We see how sorry this dude is, you know what I'm saying? And it's sad. It is really sad to see somebody with his skills, you know what I'm saying, have the heart of a chicken, right? But, you know, that's Terrence Crawford for you, you know what I'm saying? Back in 2018, we always say it, you know what I'm saying? He stayed at top rank to duck the fade. And once again, he's ducking the fade again, and they don't want to admit it, you know what I'm saying? But the truth is staring you right in the face, and you can't handle the truth, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes, you know what I'm saying, you just got to, you know what I'm saying? You, you just got to take it on the chin, you know? Um, Terrence Crawford is not a champion that, you know what I'm saying, we, we thought he was. And, you know what I'm saying, he's he's going to try to retire undefeated. And he's going to take easy fights for the rest of his career. And he's not going to face any tough competition. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying, the fight Alex Rocha is a black eye on the sport of boxing. He's already fought David Avenesian, who didn't deserve to be in the ring with him. He already, now he's getting ready to fight another sea level fighter, somebody who is unproven, somebody who beat George Ashey in his last fight. You know what I'm saying? Who is that, right? So somebody who beat Blair Cobb, you know what I'm saying? So this is the level that Terrence Crawford wants to uh, compete against. You know what I'm saying? When he got Errol Smith Jr. and all that space, you know what I'm saying, to go ahead and sign the contract. But of course, we knew that wasn't going to come through. Because the ducker, the ducker is going to do what a ducker do, right? This has been Pool Kind of Boxing. Make sure you smash that like button. Subscribe to my channel for more hardcore boxing content. Peace.